Hi, this is Shana from the Sweet and Savvy Life. Along with Kara, I'm just here for support and um, just to kind of see all the things that Shana got done. So this is our fall clean decorate with me video. And we're doing this all in one morning slash afternoon on the weekend. Yes, so we often seem to have free time only on Sundays. Our September was extremely busy. There was a party every Saturday up through yesterday. Um, so this was at the, I guess like the middle of September, early September. And we just have to maximize our time having a little one at home because you just, with having a child that's mobile now, you just have to really maximize every bit of time and one of us is playing with him or letting him kind of roam free while the other is doing whatever task is of the moment. And I believe on this day we kind of actually took turns because I was meal prepping a lot. But um, this was Shana's turn to do what she loves to do, which is... Decorate. So we decided it was a good time in September to, you know, change out the decor from our summer everyday decor to fall. And I'm just trying to get all the bins from the basement up and see what decor I can put out and what is kid friendly and appropriate for what he can reach. Yeah, Shana was just in the powder room right there. And if you see the, um, the color on the wall, we thought that color was gonna be so much like more muted and it turned out being so bright because there's no windows. So it's just kind of a funny little side note there that like you never know how paint's gonna show up. Like I'd say that that paint on the wall here in our dining room is pretty true to form. Um, but until you see it in the correct lighting and honestly between like morning, afternoon and night, just as a tip, like, you know, kind of get comfortable with that paint, but know that paint can always be repainted over if you really, really hate the color. Um, but we really see right here, you can see like under a different um, view that um, this is kind of like a peachy kind of color, but we love it. We love yes. it in our dining room. And we came to love the, the pink color in our powder room. At first it was like shocking. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. it's so bright. Um, and you wouldn't think something would be so bright without a window. You would think yeah. it would be brighter with color, but actually yeah. it's brighter in a dim light. So. so right now I'm organizing all of our tablecloths. I'm putting away the summer ones and getting out the fall ones. We are obsessed with tablecloths, I'd say. Like yes. I bet there's probably very few people that have as many tablecloths as we do. Yeah. It's kind of an obsession that started for me with all those Kohl's coupons. Back when Kohl's used to have a lot of tablecloths. They still have some, but I feel like they're kind of more limiting now. And I think they do a lot more online than they used to um, versus in store. But we just have so many. They're not all from Kohl's, but we just love to have yeah. enough for all of our tables. I mean, we have Especially when tables, we have a party and we have had um, like a fall baby shower themed at our house mm -hmm. for a friend. So like we needed that for that. Yeah. Yeah. That event. Yeah, and we actually have so many tablecloths that they don't all fit um, in those um, cabinets down there in our um, dining room. Dining room, yeah. So there's me and Asher. We're we're just kind of enjoying some of the decor, some of the fake leaves. Asher's really just kind of into everything these days. Oh, here he is again. We, I believe, had gone to church that day. Um, so Asher's kind of a little dressed up. up, a little dressed up, yep. And yeah. we're just so kinda... we kind of decided to try to decorate in the morning and then go to church and then come home and, you know, we continue to decorate. So I had found that packing his seasonal books in our decor boxes for each season works because we're always going to decorate so we can just keep those seasonal books with the season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we kind of keep Thanksgiving and Halloween tied together because they're the fall theme, of course. Yeah. Everything Christmas will be in Christmas, and I don't know. We, we do have Valentine's decorations, so I think our Valentine's books are probably there with Yep, with and then too. definitely we have a lot of Easter books in the Easter. See, I, see, I'm partaking a little bit here. I was like, oh my goodness, this place looks like a big mess. Asher is not super into books right now. He is super active. He is just... I don't know. I know it sounds very gender specific, but he is all boy right now. He is just loving exploration. He loves cars. He loves steering wheels. He's sort of getting into books a little more now that he's been in daycare. He's in daycare as of the time we are doing this voiceover for three weeks. 
and I do notice he's carrying more books. He seems a little more interested, and I'm sure it's the exposure at his in-home daycare to babies ranging from nine months um, and then to preschoolers as old as four years old. So it's just been excellent for him. First two weeks were tough. First week was extremely tough with the crying at um, drop-off that Shana didn't really have to deal with all but once. Um, but at least you got a, like a feel for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just trying to, you know, straighten up the living room with a lot of toys, as my one uh, friend would say with kids. Uh, it's trying, it's, you're trying to clean up, but it's like eating and brushing your teeth at the same time. <laughs> it kind of gets messy again. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and as you can see here, we do have a relatively large um, family room, so it accommodates an extra large play yard. Um, we don't know how much longer we're going to keep the play yard up. But it was really great for when Asher wasn't as mobile and as um, skilled in walking. Yes, walking. Um, even here, he's still kind of uh, not as good as he is to date. Um, to date, it's September 24th, and this is probably, what, about two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, his, his skill level and his walking has just become phenomenal. As you can see here, Shana is putting him in shoes um, to get him to practice that. Um, especially because he was going to need those for daycare. They spend a lot of time outdoors, um, and it's bee season out here in PA, even in late September. Bees are everywhere, especially the yellow jackets, as you can see, he's getting into everything there. Um, but we're, yeah, we, we are definitely a team, especially on Sundays. I feel like Shana does, like, a job, whether it's decor, whether it's um, a cleaning task, whether it's um, like getting packed for Arizona, which might be part of today's tasks, and then I do like a major, major like food prep, um, up to upwards of like I think last week it was five hours. Um, I wouldn't recommend that on anybody if you're not really that into food prep, but I am really trying to get fit and actually just legitimately um, diet and lose some weight. I just rejoined Weight Watchers, which I'm probably going to be doing a little vlog um, talk about that whole um, experience but so far I'm doing really well it's only been two weeks I just I literally decided to join two weeks ago because um, we definitely have some family planning we're doing um, upcoming um, another IVF cycle is somewhere in the near future we don't really have that that date determined or anything like that but I just said to Shane, I really, really want to feel better about myself. And I have a lot of other factors going on that make it very difficult to maintain or lose weight um, between PCOS and hypothyroidism, which I'm sure, shout out if anybody wants to comment below about their own experiences with PCOS and hypothyroidism, um, comorbid or separate. Um, it's, it's a challenge, but um, obviously there could be worse situations for me too. Um, but yeah, so far I've been really enjoying the new Weight Watchers. It's, it's definitely all about um, steering you in the direction of eating whole, good, solid foods. And Shana, what do you think so far of like the recipes I've made and, yeah. and the snacks No, and stuff? it's been better and we have done um, different diets in the past. So yeah, it's been, you know. Pretty easy started. actually. It's not that hard so yeah. far. Probably the most challenging task was yesterday we had a surprise 70th birthday for my mom and a 40th birthday party for my brother. It was a combined party and just like, you know, I did decide am I gonna, you know, enjoy a piece of cake and I decided to, but otherwise I, I feel in control and, you know, it's been good. Yeah, so I'm just doing more decorating. We did not decorate um, with pumpkins or a hay barrel outside on our porch yet. We will definitely take Asher to a pumpkin patch soon so we can finish that um, outdoor decorating. But you can see I did put a wreath on the door and now I'm in the kitchen. And also I do keep the seasonal towels with our seasonal bins too. That just Smart. helps us keep it yeah. organized. Definitely. Yeah, and um, this is like our breakfast nook that's connected with our pretty large kitchen. Um, we, I just feel like we should share that we bought at the best time possible in the past 10 years, I think. Um, we bought our house in December 2014, and we got such a great deal on it. It's um, over 3,400 square feet house above ground, and it's amazing. It is truly a decked out house. Now, we have a screen and porch that connects with those French doors there, and then a deck off that that we add it but it 
was such a great deal. We got a good interest rate at the time. We refinanced back in 2020, you know, as many, many, many people did too. Um, and we are just so blessed because our house, I mean, it's not doubled in value, but it's it's heading in that direction. And it's just kind of insane. Um, and I, I really do feel for any people starting out right now, trying to get their first home, because I don't envy what you have to navigate with yeah. um, right now between the high interest rates, the high value on houses yeah. so we just we truly not feel a lot we, of inventory no and inventory going really fast and no. people outbidding people so i'm just trying to get the uh our little bar area with all of our wine glasses cleaned up um put away from some you know our baptism party and the first <laughs> birthday party so i'm just trying to clean that off and uh take out all the wine bottles because asher is a little interested in that area I just forgot that this was smoothie day. Um, I was making healthy smoothies. I guess this was, was this just last week? Yeah. Wow. It seems like a lot's happened in a week's time. I thought this yeah. was two weeks so ago. So we were enjoying her zero point smoothie lunch. Yes. Cause yeah. Yeah. With the new Weight Watchers, um, fat free yogurt and fat free cottage cheese, as well as all fruits and vegetables, aside from like potatoes and things like that are all free along with grilled chicken and turkey breast and just all sorts of things. So yeah, I yeah. mean, it's been pretty easy to adjust to and all beans and like chickpeas yeah. and corn. And, and as you can see, you know, we live here, we have messy house, yeah. we have a lot of Real bills. Real life moments right here. Yeah. yeah, we have a lot of bills and odds and ends on the countertop. So, you know, I'm just organizing that and you know emptying the dishwasher trying to get everything ready for the week yeah definitely wow i can't believe that this was just last week it feels like it was like two weeks ago but um yeah yeah i feel like i was mistaken when i was saying earlier that he's, well i guess he's advanced so much though in his walking even in a week i really do feel that he's like almost running now yeah um he's like running after the things he's excited about he's gotten to become a better sleeper because of daycare I have to say, if you're if you're a first time mom or you know it's your it's your baby going off to daycare, I definitely recognize um, and understand the emotions you're going through because we're heading into week four um, on Tuesday because he has an appointment tomorrow, so he's not going to go to daycare tomorrow. But it's tough, and like if anybody has any advice or anything they want to comment on below on how you made that transition, oh my gosh, this place does look like a wreck. Um, yeah. wow. Yeah. Real life moments, but you know, we dig, we do get it all. Yeah. Clean and we and had, to, I had to go to, tidy. Her fam I had to go to a family party the day before that mm -hmm. was, you know, an hour and a half away. So yeah, literally every single party, we had four straight parties, including the one yes last night, all of them were at least an hour and a half away from us. So little Asher was quite the trooper doing three hours of travel to and from, um, four weeks in a row. We get a reprieve next Saturday. And then, um, spoiler alert, we're going to Arizona October 7th, and um, we're going to definitely be doing some travel vlogging there yeah. and some advice because we love Arizona. This will be our third time going. Asher's first, my parents' second, and my brother and sister-in-law's first time. So it's going to be a lot of firsts. We're all traveling together um, for the first part of the trip, and then they're going to head off to California while we stay in Scottsdale um, for the remainder of our trip. But I'm just so excited. Asher's, Asher's just a joy. He's yeah. just the, he's just the best. And I know everybody says that about their kids, but he is so easygoing. I think, I think it's going to go really well. We bought him a ticket. Yes. We bought him a ticket. We're not going to be doing the lap infant. He is a walking 14 month old, or he will be by the yep. time of the trip. And um, no, no way. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm just not doing it. So, what are you doing right now, Shane? You're just tidying? Tidying, putting away all those wine glasses from the summer parties because I was like, we need to get those out of here. Yeah, I was curious. I'm like, we didn't have people over. No, like, why are all those wine just glasses? Because, like, out? we were done with all the parties, and I was like, we need to get this cleared off, and I need to get all the fall decor out. Um, and you know, it'll be up until Thanksgiving. And then you saw me going through that one box. It had some turkey decorations. Mm. I will bring that up, you know, November 1st after Halloween's over and I'll put the turkeys mm. out. Yeah, it's kind of like hard because especially if you want to decorate early for Christmas, you kind of have to fit in Thanksgiving, you know, if that's part of your plan and what you have decor. And we are pretty seasonal. We're not like those minimalists that just like 
we'll just do like whites and greens and stuff yeah. and stuff like yeah. that now yeah, and have plants especially now. with having a baby now like he loves colors like that's yeah. his probably newest thing he's really into different colors of toys and stuff and d discriminating between them Here's our backsplash. We got that put in in 2020 of all years. Yeah, September 2020. I'll always remember it because the day I got finished, I got in a car accident. So, like, you know, what should have been a celebration, I was not in the best of spirits, but all was well and everything was okay. But and we tried to just put minimal stuff on the coffee table and tables that Asher can reach kind of have this guarded and we kind of now have some like animals and things so that he isn't getting to the to the stony area of our fireplace but this is a live edge piece we got from a local Mennonite um, furniture store love it there's all of the books yep. that we gathered um, and it's just so nice because they're right there and we can like put them in a bin if we want to but we can really start to you know share with Asher the seasons and all the exciting things and Shana really keeps us on our toes. She is just always on it with tasks, and I think she did a phenomenal job decorating. So thank you so much for joining us for our Decorate With Me that Shana facilitated while I occupied our sweet baby boy. Yep, and thank you for uh, coming along with my Get It All Done on the weekends, and we hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, this is a different kind of Decorate With Me. We did not, you know, go out and buy anything new. We had all the stuff ready and we just wanted to get our house ready for the season and we hope you all are decorating and doing some fall activities with your family. Yeah, and what's your baby gonna be for Halloween or your little one um, or child? Our son, we think, may be an avocado. We definitely have an avocado costume for him. But last year we kind of had him in two different outfits, so you never know if we yeah. see another costume that might be yeah, really Yeah, but great. we did try it on him and it fits. And he looks yeah. so adorable. So comment below what your family is going to be for Halloween, and we will see you guys soon. We'll keep you updated with our trip to Arizona. And thank you. Yes. Subscribe. And also, you may have noticed there were some peppers on the table, so there's some uh, Cook With Me's coming up that I will be uh, telling you all about. So please enjoy the season. And we'll see everyone soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.